In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a 2D spline, or a curve, and turn it into a 3D object using the extrude NURBS object. In my scene here, I have an extrude NURBS object, and if I turn it off, I can see that it's being made by taking this text spline and then giving it depth in the Z direction. To do this yourself, create a new Cinema 4D scene. And let's start by creating a path for our extrude NURBS object. Press and hold on this spline icon until you can reach the text spline. Go ahead and change the text from text to extrude in all caps. And click off of the object. Now our text is a little bit thin and extrusions tend to go a little funny when you've got uh, thin text. So typically you want to use a bold font. So click on font and change to bold. Next, we want to take our 2D spline and give it depth. And we can do that by pressing and holding on our hypernerves icon until we can get to the extrude nerves icon. Next, drag your text spline into your extrude nerves. This will give it depth. If you click on your extrude nerves object, its settings will come up in the attributes manager. Start by clicking on the object tab. The first parameter is movement, which allows you to control how far your shape is moved out on the X, Y, or Z axis. It defaults to the Z axis, and I'm going to increase this value. In general, with extrude nerves, you want to set up your text or your spline so that you can see it easily in Y, X view or front view. That way it will extrude out nice and easy in the Z direction. Rendering this right now, I get very crisp edges, uh, which can be nice if you want that as a graphic style, but if you're going to have reflective text, uh, rounded edges will really pick up uh, much better reflections. So click on your extrude NURBS object and go to the CAPS tab. The CAPS tab allows you to control the rounding and the closure of your extrude NURBS. So change from CAP to fillet CAP, or it could be called fillet CAP. Honestly, I don't know. Do the same thing for end. As we can see, start is our front and end is the back of our object. Right now, the end just has a cap, so I'm going to change that to fillet cap, and now it's rounded as well. By default, you get a nice 45 degree chiseled look. If you want to round your text further, increase the number of steps from 1 to a number like 5. You only need to go higher than that if your rounding uh, is starting to show poly polygonal edges. That is the basics of using the extrude tool. Uh, there's one other thing to uh, consider, which is the constrain option, which decides whether or not you're going to add the rounding on the inside or the outside of your extrude nerves. I like to use constrain unless I start running into problems in sharp corners. There you go. That's how you extrude text in Cinema 4D.